It's a windy day here today, late October. That means it's time for the 2023 Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. That's right, the International Boat Show. Taking you guys with me. Let's go. All right, so I want to go to the Swimming Hall of Fame. The Hiamar is just to the south of us here. This guy's going the wrong way. And he knows it. Look at this. Here's the Swimming Hall of Fame. Let's see if I could park this scooter anywhere. You definitely need to prepare for this because the traffic, the parking, the construction that's going on, the roads that are closed, um, just be prepared. I think what I'm going to do is park the scooter by the beach and walk. So. Right here, this looks good to me. I'm going with this. Hopefully it's a safe spot, but uh, it's here, I'm taking it. Look at this ocean. I put it behind it, so hopefully it's less noticeable. It blends in with the bike. I mean, this day and age, people don't seem to mess too much with scooters because they're parked like that everywhere. But what's gonna be is gonna be. Let's go enjoy the boat show. Thank you. All right, guys, so uh, let's go find where I gotta go. I'm pretty sure this is it. I gotta get the media pass. And uh, they said swimming hole of fame, so maybe right in here. Oh, easier everything than here. Miami's was. Supposedly, uh, 100,000 people are going to be attending. Pretty good turnout. It takes place from Wednesday through Sunday, and today is opening day. So, I guess there's a lot of people that wanted to come the first day, and why not? Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. All right, guys. I'm here, brother. I'm here, and uh, I want to hook up with you. I, I just so where I'm at is uh, by the Swimming Hall of Fame. So right on uh, A1A here by uh, I guess what is this? By EMR. Where are you? I'll tell you where I am. I'm entering where the big the big blue boat is overhead. When you walk in. It's all right, brother. Can't wait to see you. Thanks. Sir. Yes. I need you to go right. Ma'am, I need you to go right. Bag check. Oh, we're going to do a bag check here. Have at it. 
I'm good. Thank you. Good? Thank you. They, they get you in here in the beginning, selling a lot of the accoutrements, I haven't used that word in a little while, uh, for your boats. You know, the captain's chairs, the seats, the, uh, oh, look at that teak wood fishing rod holders. Bar. Barbecue grill for $19,000. And it's the final price on a floor model. I love it. Bedding. Look at this. So guys, if I didn't tell you already, welcome to the 2023 Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. The International Boat Show. Here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How are you? Good, and you? Good. Oh, are you with the Hard Rock Casino Hotel? I'm going to have to come and pay you guys a visit. It's a fun place. What's your favorite thing about the Hard Rock? Um, I really like the... There. The mood there. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Argentina. Oh, you got a good football team. Yeah, that's true. Messi. I went to see Messi's first game here. Uh, did, you, did you want there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was fantastic. And he scored the goal. Yeah, that's true. I saw history. Great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Nice to speak with you. All right, guys. We got to go back there and check it out. Sunglasses from for when you're on the water protect you from those uh, ultraviolet harmful rays we got jewelry to look good on the boat wow wow look at these diving masks shaped so differently now than when I was a kid. It pretty much covers your whole face and gives you a uh, much better vantage point of what you're looking at under the water. 180 degrees in fact. As you can see, it's not just boats here at the boat shows. It's things like that. Now that's what I would call a real incredible. What kind of fish would that thing haul in? Uh, I guys use it for sword fishing, bottom dropping, wahoo. So give me an idea of like how many pounds something like that would be. You could probably bring in like an 800 pound swordfish. 800 pound swordfish. How much line maybe, those? Maybe bigger. Maybe bigger. Yeah, I mean, look at, I, honestly, it's the biggest reel I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's our 80. We make a 130 also. A 130? It's like, it's Holy cow. So is, what? would you use this for shark fishing? Good. Yeah, huh? But you can't eat sharks, so. No, I know. That's all for the sport of it, yeah. I guess. Are you definitely good. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Wow, I can only imagine what the 130 looks like. All right, here's my boat. You know what? It gets you on the water. Hopefully it keeps you on the water. They make these things so so awesome looking now you know the colors they're painted so nice so what exactly am i looking at here is that does the fishing rod go inside of that yeah so this would be this piece right here is called the barrel okay. this would attach to your rod so this I see. would already be on your rod and this will lock onto there and then you just got uh, a three position adjustable butt wow 
Look at yeah. that. So he's got this would this is a, a you know a different rod, but the ferrule would lock in just like that. So th is this universal that pretty much any rod would fit yeah, in there? Yeah, numbered uh, two, four, six, like depending on the size, and then I see. you can find one that uh, fits for that rod, and then you just got you know multiple adjustment positions. Okay, but this wouldn't be for something that I was standing there hand so holding, would, would it be? Some people like to use these type of butts for that exact purpose. Really? If you're fishing out of the gunnel the whole time and yeah. then you also want to fish standing up, yeah. you don't need a different rod. You can just adjust it and now it's a stand up. Wow. It, it, is it, it looks heavy, but it's not? Uh, they're definitely heavier than a standard adjustable or a standard butt, but it, when in reality, if you put solid, a, yeah, it's if, definitely if, solid. If you put a 50 wide on this, you're going to feel the weight, of, the weight of the reel, not the weight of the butt. That's wow. It. We cut, you know, uh, we milled out the inside of the, the handle here to make it a little bit more lightweight and we thin this out up here. But any more would be, it wouldn't be very noticeable and what would end up happening is you're still feeling all of the weight of those big heavy reels. They're beautiful. What are they made out of? It's all aluminum. Aluminum? Yep. Wow. Yeah, all aluminum. Besides for like the screws and stuff like that, stainless, that's stainless, that's stainless, but everything else is all aluminum. It's really nice. Is this new technology or has this been there, around for a while? There's some other companies that make stuff similar. Um, that are, this is a new uh, patented design from us. This whole like actuated mechanism in here, um, everybody else's has uh, something a little bit different going on and we made something that's easily serviceable so you can take this apart yourself and oil it. And if you, if you spray in there good with a hose, you're never gonna have to take it apart. Some of the tolerances on the other ones are so tight that a little salt builds up and the buttons stop working and it all comes apart. What's it called? This is, a, I think that our official name on it is a, a Versa Butt. Uh, Versa Butt? Yeah, people call them adjustable butts or there's a lot of different names for them. Uh, our company's Blue Wing, so it'll say Blue Wing Adjustable Butt, Blue Wing Versa Butt, and the MSRP on them is $299. Awesome. Great description. Thank you for that explanation. Thank you. I appreciate it. International Boat Show 2023. You're welcome. Yeah, this is where the fun just begins, guys. We haven't even seen the boats yet. Look at these toys. customized and no other Range Rover will be like this. The, the, the deal of the bunch is the, is the discovery over there, the blue and silver. Look at that, it's like stainless steel. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow! Did you say that this vehicle is from the 1970s? Yes, yeah, so he was telling me it was in the 1970s, but it's totally been remodeled and uh, refurbished. That's incredible what they can do! I knew it sure smells new. Look at that. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it is. It is nice this boat. looks like the uh, Blue Iguana sister here. It's called Valentino Custom Boats. That you guys hand make these boats. Correct. What exactly does that mean? How do you make a boat by hand? It doesn't look like any Rivian I've seen, though. You guys have, um, what have you done to the... We took a sterile-looking Rivian that lacked masculinity, and yeah. we injected it. <laughs> Give me an idea on the price of one of these tires with the with the rim. I'm curious. This tire right here is about $900. The rim itself is a Fuel Assault 22-inch. You're going to spend about 600 on that rim. We're going to spend a little more money is when they do this paint work to edge it out and make sure it matches the exterior. So that actually is supposed to be black and silver could you see him doing bait uh, boat maintenance uh, yeah right down the decks and all that no cleaning windows chumming chumming <laughs> when they're fishing <laughs> i think this is the biggest boat show in the world this is uh, it, is. it is yeah that's what, that's what they told me anyway a hundred thousand wow. people come and uh over one thousand three hundred boats on display this 
one here is the 43. And that one over there is the 50. So there's no one on there. So let's go jump on that 50. Oh, okay, great. It's the full walk around? Yeah, show us, show us. Yeah, plus if you got some company you don't like that much, then you sleep out here. Sleep out here. In fact, <laughs> yeah. some of them might actually volunteer for that. <laughs> size berth you know you want to get the most use out of your boat so if you're you buy you spend three million dollars on a boat and you can only use 50 percent of the boat 95 percent of the time like it's kind of a waste of money and i don't have that problem <laughs> <laughs> If you wanted to drive this boat around the world in the ocean, is it doable? Which one do you guys like? Okay. It's the 812. This is the car Sonny yeah. Crockett would be driving. To. Yeah, Sonny Crockett would probably be driving this GPS <laughs> in white. I was gonna say, do you have it in white? It's beautiful. Is a helicopter? Yeah, wait, wait a second, is that a helicopter? <laughs> yeah. Did we walk right past that, yeah. or did they just land it here? <laughs> was that thing here the whole time, or did it did it just land here? No, it was the whole time. All right, we walked right past it. See. Top inside, shall we? It's got that new helicopter smell. Cheers, brother. Cheers. You're talking, and that's bad. A little strong, but good. <laughs> the crew is here. The crew. Wow. No bad idea. Hey, can I talk to one of you guys? What can you tell me about this? Do I call it a boat? It's a yacht, yeah. It's a yacht. What is your job on this boat? I'm the first officer. We've got the captain over here. What's the hardest part of your job, Cameron? Hardest part of my job? Yeah. I don't... It's That's all easy. It's all paradise, it. baby. He's it's on a yacht. It's not hard. Well, what he's doing right now, that's not so easy. <laughs> What's the hardest part? Are you, are you swabbing the decks? What are you doing? Because we have a few guys coming around. But... Okay. That'd be f I'd love to show them. Yeah. And they come on up through. Yeah, yeah, come right. up as a guest, man. That's it. Cam will take you around. And... Skipper and little buddy, here we go. They are giving us a tour of the no bad ideas. And that sounds like a great idea to me, guys. Well, let's go, Cameron. Lead the way. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's the most fun thing you've done? My favorite, swimming with turtles. Right, swimming right. with the turtles. I love it. And you get up nice and close to them. And yeah, that's probably one of my favorite things. Oh, you oh, oh this man. Trip take you through the rest of the boat. Are you guys hiring? <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you cook? <laughs> I can, I actually can. I can try. Cool, so down here we've got a guest cabin set. So oh, I have the, upstairs we've got the master. Oh, the master. So that's master. the primary, the, the guy who pays the title off. Right. This is really comfortable, guys. If you, like, told me blindfolded me and told me this was someone's condo, I'd be like, lucky them, they got a nice place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. A place that you can just open up there. It, it's amazing, it's like a king, it's like a king bed, and it's got a full bath. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, look at this, guys. Woo! Two ways in, baby. His and hers entrance into the shower. This is, this is my room. room. <laughs> the bathroom is impressive. Yeah, so this, yeah, this is yeah, yeah. Whoever, you're, whoever you're chef. Everything's service. This is five star it, hotel right here. So it's all service. You eat anything, you're asking the girls, they grab it. You don't go into the fridge to grab a beer. So this is it. Perfect. Now we're getting to the hot tub. Oh, hot tub. This is where. This is where. In a hot tub. This is where only bad ideas happen at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Can we fit 10 people in there? That's the question. I mean, I can't promise you there's going to be water. <laughs> have you seen it? Better. Have you seen 10 people in that tub? <laughs> no, I have not. Oh, okay. Uh, probably six. Oh, uh, probably six. <laughs>